given that it is Sanko de Maya, it's time to talk about tequila, a subject I'm minimally familiar with, not because I guzzle it every night before I go to sleep, but because I'm one of the proprietors of Bar San Miguel in Brooklyn. Features 120 different brands, not to mention 30-odd mezcals. I'll be knocking back a few later. Specifically, we want to take a closer look at the ultra-high end of the distilled spirits market with tequila Avion. That's the super premium tequila brand, right up there with Padron, that the world, it took the world by storm after it was featured on Entourage a few years ago. Now, I, Avion itself may not be publicly traded, but the product has won multiple awards, and more importantly, last summer, Pernod Ricard, that's the world's second largest wine and spirits business, acquired a majority stake in the company for a ton of dough. Now, everyone knows that alcohol is important for many people. It's the most important meal of the day for, uh, well, it's also a big business, let's put it that way. That's why last night I spoke with Ken Austin. He's the founder and chairman of Tequila Avion. Find out how his company's doing in the wake of the Pernod Ricard acquisition. He is a great entrepreneur. He can even shed some light on the private transaction, so take a look. Kenny, very few holidays are synonymous with a particular drink. You've got what is probably the hottest in the category, Avion. Congratulations. Salud. What does it mean since I saw you last that you've now got a Someone bought a very big stake in the company. Uh, it's actually been amazing, Jim. You know, Pernod Ricard last July uh, took majority of Avion. Uh, it was kind of tough for me to do as an entrepreneur uh, to let go, but we actually haven't let go. Pernod is continuing to let us run the company. Uh, as I say, the lunatics are running the asylum. Uh, total autonomy. Um, and uh, so as an entrepreneur, I made the right bet in Pernod Ricard versus going somewhere else where they probably would have tried to throw the entrepreneur out, which you and I both know right. is not a good idea, right. but uh, they got it, and we're still running the show, which is just Highly great. unusual, Highly. For, especially because some of these liquor companies are very, very tough and want it to be their way. Can you, I know that it's a private transaction, but give us a sense how big it was for you. Um, well, it was reported it was north of a $100 million right. value, and uh, we did not sell the entire thing, so they purchased another chunk. Uh, so I'm still in. Jenna Fagner, our president, still in, and we want to be in for a long time. Uh, but it was north of, north, well north of $100 million. There were a lot of people who were laughing at you when Entourage went off, saying, listen, that was really the only reason why you were big. You got the last laugh, didn't you, Kenny? Yeah, we've had the last laugh. And, it, you know, it was tough. You know, we had some moments where I felt like maybe we were going to go off the cliff because right. people said, oh, this isn't good tequila, it's not real because Wait, of the show. But when we won World's Best, right. it sort of changed everything. Yeah, so I mean, I, you know, I own Bar San Miguel. And it, it's always very funny to hear real versus not real because there are some, frankly, that aren't real that I don't want to knock necessarily. But this is definitely mu very much the real category. Growth characteristics year over year, tequila, your tequila? Oh, I mean, well, the, the ultra premium tequila category is up 6% this year. Right. Avion is double last year. So we are, what we're doing is the pie is growing, which is great. Mm -hmm. And we love, you know, whether the stories of tequila brands are made up or not. We love the fact that there's a lot of heat around tequila. The category is booming. Right. Uh, and Avion is just taking a bigger share of a growing pie. So we're really rocking right now. And it's, right. it's all about the liquid in the bottle. Well, it, this one is uh, our highest, you know, at my bar. This is the most expensive uh, drink that we charge for. Uh, and, and I imagine that this has a huge profit margin for you. Um, has a huge profit margin. Profit margin. It actually doesn't. Why? Um, Reserva it's, it's... 44, this is $150 retail. Right. It normally... Because it's in a crystal bottle, because it's in a gift box right. that costs $15, just the box itself, our strategy was not to actually price it at $250 or $300 a bottle. Like some others that we know. And they do that. And the thing is, for me, we're about value. As yeah. we're, we're ultra premium, we're luxury, right. but it's about value. So we decided to price this at $150, not make a lot of money, but create a halo around the brand. So as business people, let's create this halo where this has become literally the Pappy Van Winkle of tequila, that people look for it, they can find it, and they want it even more. And the liquid in the bottle is spectacular. So it was really about creating this halo over the brand versus I've got to make a lot of money, because the money will come. And Pernod Ricard feels the same way. Uh, how, are they going to blow it out everywhere? Uh, the brand itself? Yeah. Well, I think that over time, the right. world will open itself up to tequila. Uh, right now, tequila is mostly North America. Right. But there's a huge global opportunity, and we will be, ultimately, will be everywhere as long as nothing ever changes in the bottle. We will not cut corners. We will continue to be inefficient. The minute we become efficient as a tequila maker is the minute I don't want anything to do with it. So that will not happen with Avion. This category has periodically had celebrities. There is some staying power, I believe, to George Clooney's Casa Amigos. Are you surprised? Uh, I'm not surprised. Well, I mean, he's a powerhouse, you know, as a, he's not really very involved, but he's a powerhouse of a brand uh, himself. Right. Um, so I think that uh, celebrities tend not to really do well in the spirits category. Um, the question really is, is there a real story? Is it made up? Um, and so on. And those kind of things, typically those things will be known by consumers. So in the case of him, he's just a powerful guy. And uh, so we'll see what happens. But I welcome that because what it does is it elevates the category, 
which is great. Okay, that's where I was going. It's the Buffett that lets all. This is the best growing category in the industry of spirits, and you guys have had a big role in playing. I want to toast you and hope you'll come by Bar San Miguel for for Sanco de Mayo. Thank you very much. That's Kenny Austin, the chairman of Tequila Avion, which is without a doubt one of the great success stories and a great entrepreneur. Congratulations. Thanks so much. Cheers. Salute.